Hey guys, what's cracking? Godspan here, coming back at you with another segment of the custom card review. It might as well be considered the custom card review season because we're getting a few of these videos out here as a full continue to add in more and more to this post. Uh, so you can expect a couple more uh, aside from this one. Pretty, pretty good days all around. And with me, of course, I've got the staple to the channel for these kinds of videos, at least. Uh, Assault Rider, how are we doing, man? Hey, thank you for having me here. Of course, as <laughs> I'm always. Doing fine. So today we welcome you to the world of Assault Rider, as the majority of these uh, cars today are going to be from him. So I'll, <laughs> there's going to be a, a lot of different good stuff here. There, there'll be a couple other dudes in between, which is nice. You know, I'll throw in some variety here. But we're basically going to be giving this man the Rando Rosu treatment. So what? 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 Welcome to his prayer. Uh, what would you even call them? Works. Arts, mm, what would you say? Unlimited blade works. Well spoken, well said. All right, so starting off with Angel Feather support because we didn't have enough of that yesterday. Uh, we've got three uh, Angel Feather cards here. So starting with Accident Celestial Batril or Batril, uh, not really sure how to pronounce that one, but anyway. So auto, when this unit's placed on van or rear, if your vanguard is a celestial, you put a unit from your hand and your damage shield face up. Note, this means not the quick shield smile. Uh, choose a great two or less card from your damage zone, call it to rear. And if uh, control celestial heal is on your van or rear, the called unit gets plus five candle in a turn. Uh, second effect is a van only which is once per turn, when it attacks the van, choose any number of your rear cards with the same card name as a face-up card in your damage zone. They get 5k until end of turn. Then for each unit chosen by this effect, this unit's gonna get plus 5k until end of turn. Then, if you chose four or more rear guards at the end of that battle, Soul Blast one to stand it with minus one drive. Holy crap. Now, uh, very clearly this is a Legion because it's basically codependent with Heliel. So let's talk to about uh, Heliel. So yeah, Control Celestial Heliel, um, also two effects. Auto, when it's placed on rear, you put a great sure less card not named her from the drop zone into the damage zone face up. And if you have two or more cards with the same card name as the card put for this cost, choose one of those cards and call it to rear. Um, interesting. Now, uh, second skill is continuous on rear circle. During your turn, if control celestial hail is in your damage zone, it gets 5k power. Then, if this unit or your vanguard has stand or stood, I suppose, by a card's ability, it gets power plus 5k. And what these two is Solid Celestial Adnarel, um, which has one effect this time. Auto, when it's placed on rear or put on the guardian circle, oh boy, it's one of these kind of effects. Soul Blast 1, choose up to three of your rear cards with the same card name as a card in your damage zone. For each rear card chosen by this effect, it gets 5k power and 5k shield to end a turn. Then, if two or more were chosen, Put two or more units with Celestial on their card name from the uh, drop to the bottom of your deck and draw a card. Oh boy, it's Augusto, but for Celestials. <laughs> Bit different, but the same concept. Well, um, these are definitely based on clan collection standards. <laughs> I'll say that right away. I would I would totally see something like this there. Uh, they're very specific, though, to like having a bunch of Celestials with specific names in the damage zone, which is cool for the gimmick, but holy crap, does that sound like a pain in the ass to accomplish? <laughs> just another day for celestials man jesus like then, try harder for the same results man dude you have to put in like extra milestones and like intellect just to be able to perform these kind of things wow i mean for the most part they're pretty costless i mean yeah the the the, the worst you're doing is a soul blast that's easy peasy especially when you have uh ah what's his name scaling angel um in the deck which just helps get you more soul so yeah they're fairly costless um if you don't include the brain power you expend for it uh that's where your real cost is coming in fellas uh don't go to nine round tournaments because it's gonna hurt your brain now okay looking at these uh just overall uh they're they're pretty cool uh, essentially when you're going for batrel right uh it's sort of like Romeo reverse in the sense that this is celestials but a more vanguard ish centric one but this vanguard's sort of in between because it's giving like 5k to like your rear guards as well as to itself uh then it has a restand which is more itself so it's in the middle it, it, it it's fairly well balanced i do like that if you combo with something like Romuald, then you get like some pretty nice pluses and power and things of that nature. I like that a lot. One of the funny things, though, I noticed about this, if I'm correct about this, is 
Patrol Celestial Helio is now another Angel Feather that can essentially give you a free damage. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, shit. Uh... <laughs> Didn't realize that? Yeah, bud. Uh, if you wanted to go to Limit Break early or just have a free damage, just for whatever reasons, I don't know if Hamuel gets off the list at some point, although I don't know if you would... Uh... Use this. Actually, as a matter of fact, this effect um, is not limited to Celestials. So, yeah, I actually would see if Hamuel ever got off the list, um, Gabriel would run um, heal. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm going to fix that leader. Yeah, that, that that's a nice little synergy there. I'm surprised some folk haven't like already jumped beneath their desk with the PTSD flashbacks of that card terrorizing the meta. Um, <laughs> but that aside, I, I do like Ednarel. Uh, Ednarel, at least, is... Pretty cool. Uh, I like the Gusto in concept, so I'm gonna like Ednaro about the same, more or less. It's pretty, oop, that was a little spoiler for the next card. Now, overall, would Celestials like these? I would say so. If they, they provide more or less a alternative uh, thing, the most valuable Celestial you will probably get out of this from the bunch is going to be the Grade 2. The Grade 2 just feels very generically good, and the fact that uh, it has just a continuous 5k is really nice now there's not like big by any like stretch of the imagination i mean hydrogenous is like one of their main beaters and that'll go like way beyond but still for searchable celestials that's really nice so overall good stuff here you got any comments before we move on oh yeah uh, so i'm gonna change that green to leader <laughs> so yeah. that you know obviously it doesn't give a free damage and that um and that if you chose a unit that doesn't have Celestial in this card name, uh, you have to come to Bless 2. Either that uh, or what you, another thing you do is you could have it, um, uh, what you can do is uh, it has you put a card with like the same name um, into the drop, but if you had two or more, then you can just call it your rear instead. That way it would just be a one for one instead. Um, uh, that That is another way, yeah. I, I dig that. And anyway, uh, that's that. That's those uh, good good angel feather stuff. Now, is it godly like Shamsiel? Maybe, maybe not. I think that too is really good. But anyway, <laughs> now here's something I'm pretty hyped for. I like me some liberators. I think anyone who is a fan of liberators like them some liberators. So here's more bluish flames because apparently uh, Aichi just doesn't exist in V for uh, Gold Paladin. Hush you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, Blue Flame Liberator prominence glare uh, because, yeah, whatever we freaking got that little bit ago is not the real prominence glare. Here's the real prominence glare, fellas. And this is what he does, uh, according to Assault Rider. Auto, when it's placed on Van, by riding from a unit with Liberator in his card name. Wow, holy shine, Claws. Uh, look at the five cards on the top of your deck. Choose up to one card with Liberator from among them, called your beer. Then you can Soul Blast a Prominence Core and to get Drive plus one. Neat. Act once per turn. You CB1 and put a card with Bluish Flame from Hand or Soul into drop, which is very reminiscent of what the Great Force and uh, Standard had going for them. All of your rear guards get uh, plus 5k until end of turn. For each of your rear guards called this turn, this is going to get plus 3k. All right, so we're not uh, missing out on the prominence core thing. Uh, then, if you have an Aglaveil, particularly the Regulation Liberator Aglaveil, it's not Oath Liberator for all of you folk who don't think there's different Aglaveils. If that Aglaveil, in particular, is on your rear circle or in your soul, this is going to get the continuous skill that when it attacks a grade 3 or greater van, it gets crit plus 1 and your opponent can't call Sentinels. Lovely, a lot like the original. Uh, let's talk about the other two before we go over the whole, as is tradition. So, Regulation Liberator Aglaveil, or Aglaveil 2, as uh, I will call it, has two skills as well. When it's placed on Van Rear, you CB1, Peep 7, and add a Bluish Flame card from among them to the hands. Auto on the rear circle. At the end of the battle that it attacked a Van while boosted, you suck it into soul to choose a Liberator uh, with it in you know, one, just any of your units. It could be a van, it could be a rear, and that thing's going to get plus 5k, as long as it's a liberator. Grade 1 is Liberator Dual Set Archer. Interesting pick. Uh, I was expecting something more like Zoran or whatever, but I mean, hey, there's just a lot of them to go through. Auto, when this unit is placed on rear circle, other than by the effect of itself, for good reasons you'll see, Counterblast 1. Look three cards on the top of your deck. Choose up to one unit card from among them, call in the same column, and then put the rest to the bottom of your deck. Also has the skill. When retired from rear circle by your card's ability, you soul blast when to call it back 
to a back row, which is why it can't proc itself on place because then you would be able to plus one instead of neg one with that effect on top of whatever pluses you get. Overall, I mean, this is about as faithful as you can get with these cards. I, I don't think you can get more faithful than this. That's pretty phenomenal, more or less. You, you, you put in some interesting elements like this drive thing. That is a pretty curious element, but then you just go right back to, to basics with crit and then the sentinel restrict. Now, will the crit and sentinel restrict go through? I, I mean, I, I would say so. I, I think that's one of the problems with the prominence core is you're inclined to run front triggers right now because for for better or for worse they're going to pg your prominence core that's just what it is so prominence claire is like think again mother effer and then suddenly we can like uh, take a page out of spectral duke's profile and run crits again or even rainbow if you want to be that edgy little man who likes to keep your opponent on their toes so i really like glare aglavale as well really really nice i think you're only going to be running this particular aggravate if you're running pure blue flames you don't run the other stuff but uh, even then the second effect is like ah well you're negative one for a power buff so it's more of a finisher thing so i think the original aggravate is more powerfully designed but i think as well it might be a little bit too powerfully designed it's one of those g boot cards that seems to just always stick around even when it doesn't belong um and then dual set archer yeah that's fine you know, the dual set is basically what, like you would expect. I, I do appreciate that something can have synergy with the retire effect that isn't goddamn Ordemer. <laughs> so what are your thoughts when making these? Okay, uh, so, you know, I feel like when I made uh, Prominence Claire, I feel like I didn't like differentiate it hard enough. Uh, but like, you know, there, there's not much I can do about that. It's, it's just technically better Prominence Claire, but it needs some sort of setup. Uh, but, but yeah, it's uh, uh, yeah. There's not much to say about this guy. Now, Agravel. Uh, in terms of Agravel, I did uh, try to focus on making it more of a support card than as opposed to being like its own like one man army, like the original. And I think I did a decent job at that. Yeah, I mean, its main role is very supportive in nature. It's meant to search and then buff up something else. So you're not going to be seeing this at like the end of your attack chains usually. Uh, something else is going to be the end of your attack chain, generally speaking. So that's nice. When you include this, we have multiple targets for the blue slime thing. At bare minimum, eight, depending on the fate of Percival. Uh, but it could be nine plus depending on again which format because if you're playing premium then guess what you get access to a few different blue flames so, so yeah aglaville is worth as a unit is pretty freaking solid now cb has always been a sort of weird thing for gold paladin it depends on which format you play if you're playing v cb can be kind of weird not gonna lie uh if you don't hit those dindrains or those yosephists consistently then you're gonna have a cb problem but if you can then this is very nice to have and it filters out the deck as well which is always a gold paladin standard to filter out your deck fellas <laughs> so uh, i like these uh, i like these uh, better than the uh angel feather ones just because i don't know maybe it's personal bias i'm a paladin guy after all but if you i i i can really just imagine using these you know like a lot whereas the other ones it's like yeah i can see them coming out but they feel like you are you know a five head for playing them <laughs> So in short, uh, uh, so in short, V uses a lot of CB. Premium uses CB as well, but you can count to charge. But in this series, you literally do not use CB <laughs> for liberators. D series, but why the frick would D series matter? They don't use V cards. No, 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 no. D series in D series, you literally do not use CB for your liberators. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> sure. Because they don't exist, Josh. Yeah, I get it. Ha ha. <laughs> Just uh -huh. Wonderful. Uh -huh. Here's two claps. Oh, well, yeah. I just got clapped. Right. And there's two reasons why I chose Dulcet Archer, actually. One, right? She was actually in, like, the original Percival trial deck. Oh. Right? All right. And second, she's... Hmm. Well, 
those are pretty understandable reasons. Not gonna lie. Um, I'll, 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 I'll pray for my boy uh, Bruno or Zoran one of these days. But yeah, I mean, hell, any of them works, right? We just want more. So I get why Jules said because you know what I'm asking for are IG liberators and IG liberators are not bluish flame liberators. Uh, post meme where uh, he, dude says we are not the same person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I think that's enough of these guys. Pretty, pretty well designed. I would love to play these ones. Um, your best ones so far. Although, we've only seen, like, two sets. Okay, so, Edgy White Dude. Wow, I love that tag. Has also blessed us with some cards, including some Angel cards. Uh, and he's nice to label retrains, which is cool. Uh, oh, I, I can't wait to get to this thing. Um, anyway, so, Black Car Zezil uh, has a auto from damage zone so if it's face up in the damage zone if your unit with black and his card name attacks you can counter blast one to call it to rear deal your vanguard one damage and it gets 10k until end of turn so okay cool it it, it, it calls with power and rescue checks that's nice auto when placed from hand okay counter blast one choose a card for your drop zone put in your damage zone choose a card from your damage zone put in a soul oh so now we have uh another scaling angel interesting that's really good <laughs> um all right that's 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 pretty solid now these things appear to be for like the black stuff so i'm just going to go for the other two as well anybody pegasus retrain yeah continuous from the van rear guardian circle cannot be chosen by your opponent's effects oh the joy we've got resist effects that's nice when this unit attacks if you have a vanguard with black in its card name you counter blast one and soul blast one all the card for your damage zone to rear circle, and this unit gets six kids on a turn. Um, I don't think he realizes that this is a heal. <laughs> um, where's the damage? Uh, busted. Okay, so next card. Kind Care Sartail, or Sartail. Auto on rear. When your card is put into the damage zone from drop zone, uh, during your turn, you can retire this unit to soul charge and return one normal unit and one trigger unit from drop to deck. Ooh! Ooh, the, the Legion-esque spice. It's not even Legion, but ooh, I like that. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, so he's like, no new boss card. Black already has enough boss cards it is, so it's like, yeah, after Hamiel ban, this is the direction. Okay, um, so... I've dominated the conversation thus far. What do you think of these cards? Excluding, of course, the fact that Antibody Pegasus is a heal and a plus. Uh, I appreciate the first skill of Ezazel, uh being a card CB. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. No, no, it's not because you can just want to bless Ezazel and call it back. Uh, <laughs> to, to, yeah, um, most of these... Most of this either just straight up heal, or uh, it's a it, it's a soft CB like it refunds the CB cost. Uh, which mm. it keeps up to the G boot standard of Gavriel, but that's not a positive. Yeah, these are like here's the thing. I think your criticism about Silverthorns being like pretty the the Silverthorn cards we saw earlier on in this uh, season, as we'll call it. Yeah, you mentioned they were pretty costless, and I was like, ah. Well, I don't know. It depends, right? CB's kind of tough uh, sometimes. But no, you see, to me, this is costless. This is really costless. Uh, I, 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 you just pay nothing. Um, this one is a great cycle. Like, like this probably just straight up uh, replaces your scaling angel if you just don't put it alongside scaling. This is a mandatory four of um, and anything that has black vanguard because, uh, oh my god, that is really, really, really good. <laughs> And the worst part is your opponent can't do anything about it because even though it says when it attacks, you can't go, doop, 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 doop. Uh, I'm going to denial Griffin it. You can't because it has resist, dude. That's really resist. stupid. Dude, it even has resist on Vanguard. How how much of a fucking Chad does this antibody Pegasus has to be? Yeah, and I'm going to assume this means rear because it doesn't work on van since it needs the van to be black but my god this antibody pegasus uh yeah i mean i hope this was just an oversight and he meant to self-damage afterwards because if he means to self-damage afterwards i get it i do um i i still don't like that it's basically uh more specific but a bit better magatsu gale but I... so yeah overall uh th th these are not 
like very well balanced but i will say i do understand the concept and i, I get the idea of these concepts uh this one meant to be a resource thing and a multi-attacker this one's also multi-attacker this one's a resource thing so it's it's meant more to be a good uh representation of what old gavriel used to do with like the aggressive rescue checks but not like during the main phase but like during the battle phase and get extra attacks so yeah i do like that it's just he did balance them properly <laughs> Uh, I will say the one thing that is an absolute crime here, all right? You see that antibody Pegasus? You see that? You mean the see busted one? Yeah, of course I see it. I, 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 I hate it. You, you want to know what's the worst thing about this card? What? The fact that it's not Black Slice Farood. Oh, and it has that effect. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Why is that not Farood? You son of a bitch, how dare you? I'm gonna kill you. This is a level of effect cucking that we haven't seen since a war deity Ashura Kaiser essentially stole what a V retrain of Mr. Invincible should have done. <laughs> <laughs> you know, not even that. We, we seriously just skipped um, Immortal Ashura Kaiser for war DD Ashura Kaiser. Well, I think all the Zero <laughs> fans were probably relieved that they skipped it because that thing had a reign of terror that was unparalleled in that freaking game, bro. I'm going to just say it now. <laughs> <laughs> you, know what's the funniest part? you know what's the funniest part? All of the like, Ashura Kaiser artists have always been the same. So like that means, uh, one, the uh, artist either like was too lazy to draw immortal or like they didn't feel like growing immortal or two because they were uh Bushiro wanted to have a great trio greater uh vanguard effect for the opening uh so that's why they made it this stride instead probably which is <laughs> but I, yeah that thing has deep yeah yeah it's interesting that too because it's a precursor to oh i'm sorry go on seriously uh, so yeah that thing actually has like the the strikes effect they, they just wanted to have the great show greater condition instead of the limit break condition that everyone else has and somehow uh, yeah. it is more viable in premium than the old one <laughs> <laughs> like 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 one of like my quote unquote worst enemies like tried to uh use the old ashura one because he thought that you can put the heal guardian on top and and you can just drive check it but reality is you actually have to shuffle the deck big rip oh yeah the biggest rip sorry bro just uh can't 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 cheat this one out that easy i don't like that guy but you know what i that actually like one of the times i genuinely felt sorry for him <laughs> one of one of the only times uh, and you know it's funny we bring up nova grappler because that's actually like the other uh thing that edgy white dude has for us today well he also has some Ubatama, but we'll get that later so uh, so yeah here here's next on the chopping block uh he's got uh some extreme battlers for us which is ooh, you know we don't, we don't see that very much on the channel right now excessive battler victor retrain as you know he made very apparent but choice restricted with Sazanda. so this is a similar move to mm. the guy up there who made gold support but specifically stated not to have percival <laughs> because he can already see it coming so i can appreciate that i can appreciate some foresight with these cards so this thing uh may not be easy to see but it has two effects so the first effect uh which i'll just highlight here so it's very visible for everyone uh, auto, when your unit stands due to your card's effect, you Soul Blast 1. This unit and that unit gets 5k until end of turn. Now, here is the second... Oh, wait, that actually has three effects? Whoa, I got duped, bro. It's got three effects. So, here's the second effect. At the end of each player's turn... No, each player's turn. If you have one or less cards face up in the damage, you counter charge one. If you have one or less cards in soul, soul charge one. If you did both, draw one. Wow. Uh, third effect um, is... Um... Uh, hold on, hold on. Before we continue, before we continue, yes. This is what battling one. I get it. Yes, yes. That I I thought pretty much the same exact thing. Um, so here's the third effect. Uh, now follow along because we're gonna have to count our stands. Uh, no, that's not a JoJo's reference. Auto. When this unit attacks, perform 
effects according to the number of units that stood this turn due to card effects. 2. This unit gets drive plus 1. 3. Draw 1. Or choose a column and stand it. Hi there, land bros, how you doing? Uh, 5 or more. Counterblast 2. Discard 1. Stand as many rear guards as you stand this turn due to card effects, which would mean 5 or more. If you stand 6 or more, discard 2. Counter charge 1. And stand this unit at the end of the battle, drive minus two. Now, this could seem. Anyone? Little, yeah, th this is a little bloated, but here's the one thing I really oh. take issue with this. And I actually take issue with it with like this like whole card. Um, I like the concept, right? He makes it a, a, a thing down here, which is that the skills are expensive, but it refunds, so that you're you're limiting, but you're like not actually going to just run out really quickly. Here's the problem with that, buddy, right? You understand resources really well. I'll give you that. You know what you don't understand? Except for Moyaki, for some reason. That thing has once per turns. You don't have once per turns on this at all. <laughs> of the original excess uh, favorite gem. Uh, but you know, that's not, that's uh, not really the problem I think this. The problem here is that it says, okay, let, okay can you just highlight the the, the like last, last paragraph shown here? Uh, the third effect, right? No, the last paragraph. The last paragraph. The last paragraph, as in this thing? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Can you highlight that? Sure. Uh, okay, so let's see. The idea is making skills expensive by giving the players refund the end of turn. All right, now let's light up the first, uh, the third effect again. Uh, what, which effect do you want me to light up? <laughs> the first one, but the third part. Oh, okay. Um, the CB2 discard one. Ah, okay. All right. Not enough discards. <laughs> discard more. Make them regret this shit. <laughs> hmm. You know what's funny? You, 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 want, you want to know the, 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 the fun part? If you pull off six or more stands, um, and then you re-stand, you're, uh, you're only going to neg one. <laughs> you're only going to neg one overall, because he already got drive plus one. And then when he attacks, guess what? He gets drive plus one again. So even though it's drive minus two, uh, on a thing that had triple drive, which making it one drive, when he goes again, he's actually going to get, like, back to two drive, which is not even a neg at that point. So, um, that's why the once per turn is pretty important, because if it swings again, it gets all of these effects again, which outmotes some of the cost. It outmotes the counter charge a bit. Well, I mean, not the counter blast. The counter blast two is basically a counter blast one. And then because of the drive plus one, your discards don't really mean crap. And then even yeah. if you're held up, all you have to do is just wait for both players' turns to pass, and you could like just get some counter charges, get some soul charges, maybe even a draw, and just go again, bro. Unless you're playing against Blade Master, yeah. you're you're just going to hit harder again. This guy is way too costless. Like like not costless, but it's too self-sustaining. Self-sustaining. There we go. Talk. That's that's the term right there. It's self-sustaining. It's too self-sustaining. No, you have to make it Asian. You have to make it have no support system. I'm kidding. <laughs> Come on, dude. I know Risky Joe quote about that. Gotta, gotta rip on your own phone yeah. today. All right, fine. I, I, I guess that's what you chose to do it on. Um, so yeah, mm -hmm. here's the thing. If this was a once per turn, dude, it would have been a lot better. But because it's not a once per turn, and you can just do six or more, albeit it does take some effort to set that up. But once you got that set up, oops, ah, that's the game. Um, so. We got a couple more uh, extreme battlers though. So the uh, Kosachi breach train has a continuous on rear guard or guardian circle. Hello. Wait, what's up? Hello, hello. Before we continue though, I have to say, like if I roast my own folks, right? <laughs> they don't care. They'll laugh at that shit, all right? You know They'll what? Laugh at it. You're goddamn right. Because, even, goddamn. because we're not fucking pieces. And I don't mean, I don't mean like the whitewash Asians. No, no, no. I mean like the Asians from Asia. They know how to take a joke. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, sure. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, I will not respond to that, but I will acknowledge it. Now, okay. Nah, bro, not even. No one's gonna give a shit. Laughing with us, man. <laughs> <laughs> Cheerio. Um, so, 
Continuous on rare guardian. If you got a Vanguard with Victor, it can't be chosen by opponent's effects. What is up with this charming clause that everyone seems to have this time around, which is, oh yeah, we're, uh, we gotta resist. Um, pretty weird. Everyone seems to know this that I think everyone seems to notice that Clan Collection has been taking a huge control focus. <laughs> I mean, true as that may be, uh, it's, oh, I mean, these Guardian Circle resists are pretty, playing it pretty safe, bro. Um, so, okay, auto on Van, get ready for this crap. When placed, top seven for Extreme Battler or Victor. Uh, so, in, in addition to the English being kind of, uh, Let's just look at this it's for fine, what it is. Fine. Uh, you basically, uh, you put on Van, and it's like, hey, look, add Victor or Street Battle for free, which I'm like, okay, at least it's on Van only, because if it was a Drifting Flow that did that, oh, oh, we'd have issues. So, I'm like, hey, you know what? Good consistency. Mm -hmm. Why don't you write this fact when please top 7 for Extreme Battle or Victor? God, that's funny. Yeah, just get Extreme Battler or Victor, whatever you want. I, I am Exodia. I will obliterate you. Uh, so, that, 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 that that's pretty good, actually. I mean, I, I think if any, like, sub clan is going to get it, this one kind of deserves it. Because plusing an over grappler is about as rare as seeing the snow fall in a sunny day in San Diego. Now, okay, auto on rear. When this unit attacks, CB1 is standing on the unit. Oh my god, that's pretty freaking good. Um, auto on rear. When this unit stands due to another unit's effect, it gets 9k until end of turn. Note, <laughs> do you, you want to know what this thing has in common with uh, Excessive Battler Victor? Uh, I, I don't detect a hint of once per turn. Do you? I don't. <laughs> um, but I'm more offended by the fact that it gets 9k It's as opposed to 8k. <laughs> yeah, like, like, I know. That no, stat, no, 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 dude. No, what? No. Like, like, yeah, force numbers and all, but, uh, but, but, here, here's a secret. So clients are not supposed to do that. Uh, yeah, like, come on, bro. Like, if you want to earn your force numbers, you should be doing crap like Vagatsu Gale. Like, Vagatsu Gale became a 15 so that when boosted by an 8, it'd be 23. And he had to counter blast one and soul blast one to do that. That's pretty raw, bro. Um, so and also, it is a protect plan, and that uh, that's like very typical of protect plans to get 6k. But excellent, nah, 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 yeah. you didn't need you. And then, and, then, and then you pair this up with like an Excel too, and then suddenly on, on restand, like no other buffs aside. And let's be real, there are other buffs. We're already looking at 23. This thing literally on its restand is going to be swinging over a defensive, even for a force plan. That's 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 raw man go sachi bro um here's the thing i actually like these effects but i feel like he should have just picked two why does it have four effects <laughs> why four and then, and then we have the mayaki which only has two <laughs> Yeah, and the Mayaki, right? Like, like, actually look at Mayaki, because to me, uh, I actually like Mayaki the best right now. Um, so Mayaki, uh, auto on banner rear, wood placed, top five for extreme battler and call, hard once per turn. My God, this man's English is mwah, French kiss. But uh, freaking okay, I will say, <laughs> the fact that he is basically the only mother effer I've seen so far actually deliberately use the words hard once per turn and not cannot. Only use the ability with this card's name was no, no, no. He just says hard once per turn. He's like, this is what I'm wanting for. So, yes, hard once per turn could. And it's like you call a top five for extreme battler, which yes, the call is inferior to the add to hand, which is fine because you're just looking at top five for any extreme battler. That's fine, and it's a hard once per turn, so you can't just spam this out. That's fine. And then you look at the second effect, which is auto on rear once per turn. When the unit in front of this unit stands, you may stand this unit as well. That's like, what, a Riot Horn effect, I think, that does that? Uh, that's perfectly serviceable. I'll take Riot Horn. Not that it matters, though, because the fucking Vanguard can stand everything. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I feel like this card is the most balanced one, but then when you, like, look at it, it's like, why did you even, like, bother? You, you could have just, like, made this one insane as well. This one, this one feels like it entered the wrong room. Mariachi like is like technically the most felons, but it got robbed so hard by Golshachi. Yeah, Golshachi, dude. Golshachi is just your Swiss Army knife in this deck, dude. Like here you have your does everything win con. Here's your does everything support unit, including an attacker, and then here's your eh, balance search booster. 
Yeah, it, like, 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 honestly, like, 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 help. This thing could have been a beast deity as well with, like, the effects, but, you know, for beast deities, and it would have been just as fine. You know, it's like, yeah, sure. All right. Uh, so, here's a statement, right? You know, making good picture, but, like, balanced? I'm like, uh, yeah, you did go overboard with some stuff, but, uh, you went overboard <laughs> with these two. Um, Victor needs once per turn. Gosachi too, but Gosachi pick two effects and you're good. Uh, but Mayaki, you know, fair play to you. That's, 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 that's pretty good. Oh, and also, choice restrict was a Zonda. I find that really funny. Uh, but it's actually kind of facts, not gonna lie. <laughs> Bruh. Imagine this all those restands. Such a bro. A moment. <laughs> Why would you? Okay, no, don't do that. Just, just make a card balance well, Sazanda, as supposed to just say choice your suit with Sazanda. I guess at least you're self-aware, but just because you're self-aware doesn't justify you doing it. It's like, oh hey, yeah, I'm a murderer, but okay, you can be aware of being a murderer. You're gonna stop doing it, but ooh, well, we'll see. Now, see, that's the problem. <laughs> just, I don't think that should be that's debatable. The problem. <laughs> Uh, not not saying you're a uh, uh, murderer, Mr. Edgy White Dude. Oh my god, we'll put your name like that. Um, but no, 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 okay, I'm, I'm obviously gonna move on. So, okay, Nubatama, yeah, he continues to make interesting oh, no. stuff. So, here we go, here's some Nubas, I'm interested in this one. So, uh, Evil Stealth be Shin Ten, grade two, auto advance, search top seven of your deck for Han, so <laughs> put in your soul or hand. What is this freaking wording? <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's oddly good. It's really good, uh, but his I just search the top seven possible. cards of your deck for Hanzo. I'm like his word isn't even consistent with his own effects. Honestly, uh, like yeah, that's fine. Like I, I wouldn't rag on that too much, but like why it's costless? What the heck? <laughs> it, it's costless, but it's ban only, which is like the key thing. I I get why he does that because essentially what you're doing is you're essentially giving it like. The, it's in line with like what you would do with like a Vortimer because when you like look here like you, you only he's not giving us new Hanzos he's only giving us like we're only still only having the two Hanzos so uh for instance what's the one um atrocious blow that I new know. grade one for Amon it has an effect that's kind of like this except it's grade one so I think that's kind of yeah, but, yeah but um but like yeah. block luger costs something well yeah but atrocious blow doesn't and the funny thing about atrocious blow is that's a release like it's newer and it it actually does but actually but, the thing, but the thing is a great one like you have to like draw it in your first opening turn or you don't get the effect at all but like with a great two it's a different story because you technically have more chances to draw it draw into it yeah, but I think that's. Like, but here's the thing about Blau Kluger as well. It's way more searchable than Shin Ten here because, like, Blau's are, like, the most. Con I would argue the most consistent version of Novas for a reason. Really? I, I think so. I think, like, their whole gimmick is based on, like, they really keep it, like, xenophobic. Like, something like Revengers, right? Like, Revengers is a very consistent deck by comparison just because they keep on, like, searching for each other, they keep on mentioning each other. So it's a very, like, condensed deck. So, I, Blau's are kind of the same way, if you ask me. So, I, I don't know. It's debatable. Maybe you could say, oh, Soul Blast something if you really want to just, like, demand him to pay his taxes or something. But I don't know. This seems fine to me. I mean, but you have to, like, you have the option to put into Soul as well. So, that should be a CB at least. Uh, uh, I, I mean... Uh, 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 Panzo like, doesn't use CB for the most part. Stop being a pussy about it. Eh, whatever, dude. Okay, but guess what? If it gets to CB, I'm like how we're just basically arbitrarily deciding how his effects should change when I like his effect. Um, then he gets to do it on rear guard too. Fair? No. Whatever. You I'm want not another you. Rosa? You want another Rosa? Fine. Uh, I mean, all right. I mean, hey, you, you know what? You know what this thing doesn't have. In this. Okay, uh, uh, let's just move on. Let's just move on. I'm okay. sorry. Uh, auto and banner. You're not winning this, but not me. As, but I'm not winning either, right? <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, when placed, call it evil decoy token in the same column as this unit. Um, sure. That's cool. Auto on rear. At the end of the battle, this unit attack. You may have it returned to your hand. Sure. Um, uh, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I think it's fine. I, I, I like this card. Well, uh, well done. Um, okay. So, uh, self-dragon Gurdon. It is. It is kind of like arbitrary since 
uh, the you want to have something to return using the great tools effect, uh, like the the one that came in clan selection. Oh right, right. Um, I I think I can get why it bounces though because the my assumption here is it wants to be able to be a pitch fodder for uh, your Tasogare Hanzo. Or, or I guess like some so that you can reset reset itself, I guess. Right, right. For next turn. Yeah, because then the wind plays will trigger again, so that's pretty freaking good. I mean I, I, I think that's what he was going for anyway. Um one of the interesting things is he's putting something in the soul for the Tasagare Hanzo as well. So he's very much wanting to make Tasagare work. Uh, this is not going to work with the Fugan, I think is the name of the new evil decoy strategy. But yeah, like yeah. That, that that's pretty good for it. Um, so now we got Evil Stealth Dragon Guda. Great one. Auto on rear. At the end of the battle, this unit attacked or boosted. Counterblast one, put this unit in your soul. Call an evil decoy token the same as oh, oh. Put this into your hand. <laughs> oh yeah, put it into your hand. Just call an evil decoy token the same unit this was. So, uh, this is interesting because this is not multi attack because decoy tokens don't attack, but it essentially yeah. grants you an interceptor for a counter blast. Uh, and you know, and it's not like you're negging anything. If anything, you're plusing one technically for a CB, but it does it in a very unique way. So. I, I like Gurren. I think I think Gurren's another like fine one just because it's like yeah you get a strong booster if you're not making your tokens boost which admittedly you do sometimes sometimes you don't and then you just get a decoy token totally in line with the strategy and you know the CB is actually felt so yeah you know I rarely dig this guy's uh this guy's uh, Nubatama stuff I think his Nubatama stuff is probably the best ones um amongst like the three just because they feel grounded but also they feel kind of neat to play because I do like the the bounce shenanigan. Like I he he pays good homage to it. Guden, like especially Guden. Yeah, Guden. Guden, thumbs up, bro. Uh Navataru. Yeah, look at this guy. He's oh. got he's got stuff. Wow. All right. This is where the fun begins. Alright, so <laughs> he he has V era. And then he has premium, so we're, we're, we're going to be looking at two different formats here. Keep that in mind. So, Storm Dominator Commander Thavis uh, is a V-era reed chain, mind you. Grade 4, 15k power. Important thing here, it's got the triple drive. Now, when this unit is placed on a van circle, counter blast one, soul blast one, perform the following effects based on the number of units at rest. Ooh, okay. Three or more. Stand all of your units. <laughs> okay, fine, whatever. Now, and now it's not interesting. It's just, it's just Lambros. Um, four or more, draw a card. Neat. Hello, I'm doing. Uh, five or more, choose up to one card from your hand and call it. Then choose up to one of your rear guard. It gets 10k and it can attack from the back row. Now that's the Storm Dominator. Um, six or more, this unit gets critical plus one. And when this unit attacks, your opponent cannot call cards with Sentinel ability. Two of the Guardian Circle. And suddenly, be, and suddenly it became a Wailing Thavis? Yeah, like this is just like Thavis the card like, like this is basically all of your stride thavis mixed into one <laughs> you know it was fine it was fine until the last effect <laughs> yeah i think you could just cut the last effect to be honest i think i think the last effect makes sense now here's the you want to know the the the, the nutty part right this thing as what? a going first stride or just like you know the pseudo stride that thavis does this thing is absolutely goddamn bonkers because it starts with triple drive it's going to gain a drive from your v thavis and then it's going to draw you a card that's a plus five on top of all your multi-attack <laughs> like i uh you know i get what this guy is trying to go for like he wants to differentiate from lambros but this is I think this is a bit too much. Like it was fine until like the uh, the last fight. Like that, that like that should at least be changed a bit. Yeah, like, like it, if, it shouldn't if you cut this. <laughs> you're good. Uh, but like, but, but then like it wouldn't be like half as good as Lambrosis. Uh, so what they should do, right? In my opinion, right? The unit that can attack from it essentially give the unit that can attack from the back row. A title assault effect. Oh, interesting. Um, I guess I can see what you're going for there. Uh, I would actually kind of argue uh, about this thing not being good as Lambros because the thing that Lambros has going for, like, because let's look at this conceptually. What does Lambros offer you? It basically offers you 
a column restand and probably cumulatively 10k power right but that's a column restand now if you have back row things then okay it's more multi-attack but let's assume you don't right this thing is granting an extra attack anyway and it's got 10k which is basically two 5ks cumulatively so it's kind of comparable there then you also get the draw and the triple drive instead of it just getting one drive so now it's four drives and the draw so you get maybe a little bit weaker of an offense and that's a maybe um and this is all just excluding this final effect by the way you get maybe a little bit weaker of an offense but then you get like a, a sizable more card advantage for it uh so i don't know i i would say mm. if i was playing the v thavis i would probably play storm dominator like just going first definitely mm -hmm. and maybe even from then on out more if i felt like it all right that's fair uh oh. but still it's not really a maybe it's a definitely because like and let me think about it this way like storm uh like the column restand with lambros is just going to be like more way more powerful than a tanky back row record right yeah unless of course you did something um cheeky like for instance you <laughs> you gave this to a, coral, have a tidal assault or yeah title saw a freaking terrific coil because uh, this is when it's placed on van circle so you just call a terrific coil from hand and then that thing can swing twice okay. yeah there you go uh yeah that's like, that's like like the only like way it has value uh <laughs> I mean, it's still a 24k restanding regard. That's just like, that's like really good. <laughs> and it gets you, it gets uh, you two more cards. Yeah, but still, like being able to restand Coral Salt twice using Lambros is like way more significant. Uh, potentially, like, yeah, like I think Lambros can be more powerful if you combo with it correctly, but I like the mid roll attrition that like Commander Thavis brings. And again, guys, this is all assuming not the final effect because yeah. if you do the final effect woo! I, think, I think it's like no like 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 it, i feel like this has an identity crisis like oh my god i want to be commander tavas and then nope i'm waiting now yeah and then you look <laughs> like, over here like up here it's the same goddamn thing like why are we trying to be like a favorite champ victor all of a sudden when this thing gets like six free stands <laughs> Well, I mean, that, that is what Favorite Champ does, but, to be fair. Yeah, that is Favorite Champ. Here's the thing, this is Excessive Battler Victor, not Favorite Champ. Why is it has a Favorite yeah. Champ effect? <laughs> I mean, like, I like the idea, it's just that it's way too bloated, you know? Yeah, like, I feel like that's going to be the theme, right? Uh, more bloated than needs to be. If these guys cut down on maybe their last effects or something like that, they would be right in the sweet spot. Like, we're, we we were this close to greatness, fellas. We really were. Um, so, Neo <laughs> Alter Ego Messiah. Uh, this one I'm pretty hyped for, because I, I do like me some Messiah in me. Uh, I, I know Volk, especially back in the previous BRO, not this upcoming one, were, like, cheesing out Volks and doing, like, like weird shenanigans or whatever but i still like me messiah right because i don't know I, I like koji so anyway standard stats even gives force gift uh which i guess is more like important in a deck like link joker because hang on breaker uh so act on just act i i don't know where it has this act i'm going to just assume that it is going to be a vanguard yeah. yeah let's just assume that <laughs> counter blast what she was up to mm -hmm. one card from my hand wait what's up no it's just that this guy forgets to like word half of his skills yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Again, you know, the, the English is like, <laughs> I, I, I don't know where this is, buddy. This is an effect from the deck. That'd be so freaking busted. Uh, so, choose up to one card from your hand and drop zone and call them the rear guard as a lot of cards. If you call two cards, draw a card. Hmm, neat. Uh, auto, when this unit attacks, soul blast one and discard a card from your hand. Unlock all locked cards on the field and choose two of your units. Those units get 5k power for each card unlocked until end of turn. If this unit's on rear guard circle, at the end of the battle, this unit attack, retire this unit, and draw two cards. Okay, so I think oh wait, there's there's a sacrifice beside. Let's 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 hold our horses and talk about sacrifice, right? We'll make the sacrifice. Um standard stats for grade one. Auto. Uh I I get I'm just gonna assume rears for this. Um when a card with Messiah and its name is placed on this unit, soul charge one. That's Interesting. I can be both Vanguard and Rear not gonna lie. Uh, oh, I guess in Premium and whatnot, you can have, like, the, the Great Shoe Messiahs, like, going around, right? So, on band, then that could work. Uh, so, an auto mm -hmm. is, again, I'm just gonna assume a Rear. When other Rear Guard is locked, 
or when a card is placed on rear circle as a lock card while you have a great theory greater messiah uh vanguard you lock this unit counter charge one choose one of your other units and it gets 3k interesting so this is like a different cauldron wing um all right and finally something is something that has the name and keeps being itself yeah i know this actually is basically what you would expect from the sacrifice messiah which is yes relock it to get the counter charge and give the 3k like this is super faithful uh that's 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 pretty nice and the soul charge one mm -hmm. makes sense it really does make a lot of sense i get why you do this now let's talk about like like sacrifice missile Mwah. uh warning is a little bit weird the first effect i'm not quite sure how to take it but that aside yeah it's pretty freaking good now what do you think about neo ultra ego because i'm a little bit conflicted i unlock <sighs> mm. too much too much like mostly like the last effect <laughs> mm. again what's interesting about the last effect is it's very similar to the uh, lady battler of the black dwarf promo that we got pretty recently yeah, yeah but i think like cb is this soul blast it, it... <laughs> like like the one thing that messiah needs or like uh, should have is more cb costs because, you know, they don't use it. To be fair, though, uh, unlike the Lady Battler, this one does come with a discard. So you are, like... It, 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 this one isn't, like, the pot of greed that she is. This one does come with a discard. So that is that is fair. Oh, and I guess we can assume that this is a banner rear effect. Thinking about that now. Yeah, that's kind of the problem here. Because, like, you... it's It doesn't count to bless. It discards. Uh, it discards, yeah, sure, but it only solves. It doesn't come to bless, but it can unlock all lock cards on the field and choose two units. Give those bitches 5k for each card unlocked. Like, that is way too much. As a Vanguard, that wouldn't be so much. But then you realize that as a rear guard, it does this as well. So, mm. what you can then do essentially is do the multi attack, right? Um, and then you unlock your volka goats again maybe you can even try to do funny stuff with the uh with the monk um and i'm like okay that's actually pretty wicked but then we also have to understand that technically speaking if you're swinging with this that's one of your things and you only have one volka goat on the other thing so even if you achieve its effect that is still just two volka goat swings that turn more well maybe three if you do uh if you do uh the whole thing right but then again three volka goat swings if you get both Volka Goad uh, and the Messiah turning their face up, that's four Volka Goad swings. So it, it seems, I don't know. I mean, I I don't know if I should feel bad about this, but I mean, no, I, I shouldn't feel bad about saying this because I, I I like it. I actually like this. I, I think this makes sense because you should feel bad. No, no, no. You should feel bad. This doesn't count. To, uh, this doesn't count to bless, and it works on regard. Josh, stop. Stop it. But stop it. It discards. It's not the high roll even. It's like a more of a mid roll. And I like the fact that this thing like has the draw effects because that's supposed to be the neo alter ego thing. Is that it's supposed to like grant you more card advantage and more stay power. Like that's what like Koji sort of transitioned to and whatnot. I don't know. I I kind of like this. I mean, wait, but like unlocking and drawing is has always been like Koji's thing, though. Well, yeah. <laughs> like, no, Josh, Josh, no, don't do it, Josh, no, no, don't, don't betray me like this. Oh, come on, okay, we we're gonna have to chalk this up to another agree to disagree. I like this. I no, no, this buff the cards you unlock, this unlocks everything. It draws to on rear guard. It is a ridiculous turn. It doesn't even CB. Like, that's like my main gripe with it. It doesn't even CB. Josh, stop playing with me, no. Yeah, but, like, <laughs> uh, but counter argument, it discards, so it's not even a true plus two. And on top of that, it retires itself. And then on top of that, if you just look at it by comparison to the just alter ego messiah, that thing, when it unlocks all of your units 10k i i think it's pretty appropriate and this effect up here cbs anyway dude no 
alter ego with Saya it, like, is like ridiculous with like the how costless it is. It, it, like then this thing comes like come on man, don't be tripping me out like this. Come on, bro. Just to appreciate that this bro. unlock effect has a cost on like alter ego Messiah. It actually has a soul blast and a discard. Yeah, but it also does ridiculous shit. Uh, like, if it was like purely on Vanguard, right? Fine. Uh, like, you can even keep the draw effect. Well, don't retire your Vanguard. You can even keep the draw effect if it's only on Vanguard, but it's on Vanguard. It's on Vanguard. That's like, oh, God, it's horrible. Like, so what if it discards? It, it can unlock Vocal Goat twice in one turn. You really think I want to be happy about that? Well, I mean, sure, okay, it unlocked Volcagoad Goat, like, twice, sure. Um, and that's not even, sure. well, I mean, does it unlock it twice? Because you would need to lock this thing and then unlock it to have it swing again, uh, which I guess you can if you call it locked, but then in, if you call it locked, you would then have to use an effect on the field to unlock it instead of your Volca Goat. That's probably over there locked as well. Um, I, I don't know. I, I mean, like, yeah, but no, I mean like once with it, and then like the second time with your Vanguard. I mean, well, sure, but then isn't that kind of the standard state of affairs when you just have two Volca Goats in the front row and you can get up to four Volca Goat attacks? I guess. I, mean, I, I think that's just like, that's kind of the standard and this doesn't mess with that. It gives you more like of a card advantage and alternative in case you're not getting, but like, let's say you only have one Volca Goat. Now you can get like four attacks with it. and. I get the mid roll behind that. I I I get the idea. So uh, I just I just don't like this. The one thing like fucking hell. There's a reason why Messiah is not getting supported right now. Cause they don't need it. Bro. This whoa. They just got their promo <laughs> though. Yeah yeah exactly. Yeah we did get the promo, which means they're not gonna get supported in a long time. Well, goes for a lot of the G decks now, don't it? Um, oh, I'd imagine anyway. Yeah. Uh, okay, we're burning a lot yeah, of daylight probably. on this. We, we've basically made our stances clear. I don't think we're chasing. I don't think we're changing our stances. <laughs> Fuck this thing. <laughs> okay. okay, okay. So we have premium card, uh, which oh, is wow. Violent <laughs> Waves of the Blue Storm. So it's a blue storm, note that. Aterope. Or Aterope. Aterope. Uh, so Aterope. Grade 2, with the grade 2 stats you'd expect, uh, thankfully. Auto, mm -hmm. when a unit with Blue Storm or Maelstrom's card name is placed on this unit, draw a card. So, I, I no. should we assume that this is sort of no. like the Morvidus thing, which is Vanner Rear? Because if so, why is this here? Why? Uh, but, I mean, hey, okay, fine, whatever. Uh, Auto, when this unit attacks, uh, again, I don't know, but I'm going to just assume rear because of how this effect is worded. If you have a grade 3 or greater vanguard, uh, or just a grade 3 vanguard, wait, it just says grade 3? So it doesn't work with the strides? Why? Uh, what? I, I, no, 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 let's just take it as grade 2 or greater. Okay, in this I, case, I really we, hope so. Because otherwise, otherwise, our brains will break. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so anyway, grade 3 or greater vanguard with Maelstrom and card name, uh... This unit gets 5k power and Soul Blast 1 to choose a unit in the same column as the unit in exchange positions for this unit. Um, so... It changes mid battle. Yeah, I don't get that. Why? This should have, uh... uh it, it, when you, uh, when you Soul Blast 1 to give it this skill, this skill should stay at the end of the battle. This unit attacks. There you go. Um, but that's just more of a wording mishap. I'm really hoping he doesn't intend for the attack to go through mid battle like that. Um, so... Uh, but I'm gonna divide this with you, nope. So, does Maelstrom need this? I don't think so. We should already have a blue stone card that does that. Uh, I think just this card as a whole, it's like, it, this card seems kind of uh, random. Like, don't get me wrong, I'm really hyped for blue storm support, but then I'm like, I is this what it needs? Because you just look at this first effect, right? And it's like, okay, why does a, this Jewel Knight sounding kind of like it's more specific, but it sounds like a Jewel Knight type thing, which is totally random and then down here it's like yay okay gets 5k and you can call him swap but i'm just going to keep it just a hundred with you just a, a, just no cap maelstrom is not a very multi-attack centric version of aqua force the amount of multi-attack it achieves is lower than a lot of the other variants because it's a vanguard centric deck it's based more on a very devastating 
Vanguard that often comes with things like guard restricts or restance. That's how Maelstrom plays, even in premium. This is the case because that one strike, which is like GG if you get a lot of Maelstroms and Soul. So I don't know in, why this is here. In premium specifically though, uh, they are more focused on the old team Maelstrom. So they focus more on like retiring and plusing, essentially. Yeah, like, but you then know, you I stride get... into the big thing and then it's all about the Vanguard at that point. Yeah, but uh, but like the the fucking so like multi attacking in like premium maelstrom like makes sense. As a like you remember what is the name of um the the great two that attacks from the back row Eldris? Uh, Elder <laughs> Eldo... Moss. was Elder Moss. Yeah, that thing. Yeah, it's, like that thing attacks from the back row. Uh, Lordly maelstrom like makes something reset. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, so it's 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 oddly fitting, but at the same time, uh, eh? Yeah, like, eh? I, I, I don't know. You know, like I don't know. It, it's 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 trippy. Like for instance, the fact that this thing gets like the five k multi tax is a little bit like weird. Like I, it would have been cool if it was more predicated on like buffing your vanguard a bit more and maybe doing something like that like i i think that would make a little bit more sense because even if you do have multi attacks those multi attacks are there not for their own merit they're there to facilitate your vanguard getting its skill off because it has like skills based on your attacks is you know, it's tradition right so yeah that's uh like think of it like spectral duke right like spectral duke as a deck actually doesn't have like some insane multi-attack like dirk it would or even like some other versions like aggravate it doesn't have as much multi-attack but it's just like a lot of your units are based on buffing up your vanguard like the howell caden duo is based on supporting your vanguard uh freaking the Vortimers are you know this that's what they do the great tree that calls from the top of your deck full cavalier exactly right that's another one so and you just focus on your vanguard who will like just swing a second time and get really devastating and then you go for dupe mm -hmm. gg so it's like uh, this is a similar premise here like it's a little bit different because your main win condition is based on a very like violent guard restrict but this would be interesting if it actually was more supportive of like that guard restrict like what if instead it paid a greater cost and move and like let's say like it paid a greater cost and moved like into soul to give 5k to your front row that have blue storm or maelstrom in their name now this is a little bit more interesting because now you're leaning into that thing a little bit more and i get this is premium but am i wrong for thinking that you already have elder moss <laughs> elder moss yeah which elder moss attached from the back row so to give to front rows a little bit like finicky with it uh to, to be fair so i don't know how to take it at to rope like i there could have been a good concept well, here, but it misses the mark. I mean, to be fair, uh, Blue Storm did get a column switcher in premium. Yeah, they do have that. Um, I forget the name, but they do have one. They a deck sweeper. Blue Storm soldier deck sweeper. There we go, deck sweeper. I I was like, I, I think I was gonna call him Rascal Sweeper or something like that, but no, okay, De deck no, sweeper. I mean, I mean, actually, actually, I think it's Rascal Sweeper. Yeah, it's Rascal Sweeper, not deck sweeper. Deck sweeper is like the fucking great one 4k base booster yeah that thing is deck sweeper damn what, what what is up today i'm the one who's calling like the the maelstrom cars i guess it just goes to show that this is the one i, I pay the most care. attention to <laughs> i don't care much about uh maelstrom parts fuck them oh i think i, I can care more about them than you do that's surprising coming from the fact that you're the aqua force main of the two i care about traditional local force Traditional? Oh, I mean, you want to talk we, traditional, excluding... This is traditional Aqua Force. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I mean, like, I mean, like, the non-premium stuff, but this is G-stuff. Fuck, I'm, I'm, I'm digging myself into a deep pool. Uh, let, 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 let's I move talk. on before you descend further, my man. Uh, oh, yay! No, okay, but What's up? Ooh. Uh, What's this we have here? Yeah, so we're back to the Assault Rider show. Um, we've got Messiah. <laughs> yeah, uh, so yeah, more more Messiah. Is, is it kind of funny? We just basically have like Messiahs. Uh, uh, freaking what else do we have? We have Aqua Forces, and then we have uh, Angel Feathers and stuff. There, there's just some like kind of consistent plans that are being picked this time around. Anyway, so Amnesty Messiah. This is a, a cool grade three. So when it's placed on Van or Rotopon, uh, you. Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, okay. 
draw a card and you and your opponent each reveals a card from their hand and puts it on rear circle as a locked card if a card you revealed has messiah in its card name until end of your opponent's van until end of your opponent's i'm just going to assume turn here um your, their vanguard can activate their auto abilities that oh man i i know why you did that one um auto that seems to you and right there <laughs> yeah uh wait you don't even want the second effect yeah, yeah, go, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> uh, auto on van, when this unit attacks the vanguard, unlock all cards. Uh, well, locked cards. All of your units unlocked by this effect get power plus 5k. Retire all of your opponent's units lock unlocked by this effect. This effect is mandatory. Uh, wow, that's interesting. This is badass. This kicks ass, dude. Like, I, 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 I don't know what to say. This, this thing is, like, really nice, you know? It's, it's basically control messiah. <laughs> like that's 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 pretty righteous it's control messiah that also basically gives the middle finger to the chaos breaker matchup which is very nice uh also says f you to gurk it which is bonus points um I I, I I i dig it i mean i know it's awkward for you to comment on your own cards and you're not going to be doing it very much uh it's the price you pay for posting so much i suppose but uh i i, I think so. uh, well, I but like i get faced with so much show uh, i get showered with so much praise and that's only like what an agent needs in his life i i guess so now i i think it's kind of becoming more apparent to both ourselves and the audience that if they were just to make a judgment call i don't like to think of it this way but i can see where a lot of people perceive it as you're sort of a bad cop and i'm good cop so praise from me is not as hard as praise from you uh <laughs> as oh, oh my god Oh my god, whoever did this Assault Rocket guys made such a wonderful card. It's flawless, it's balanced, it's amazing. I don't know who it is, but he's fucking handsome. Let's wow, do dude. it. Uh, <laughs> do you want me to give you the hand job or are you good by yourself, bro? <laughs> uh, both? No, thank you. I'll jerk, I'll, I'll jerk you off so you jerk me off, alright? <laughs> Look, I bro down, but I don't bro down that hard. Uh, so, Awaking Messiah, really? grade 2. Uh, auto on Vanner Rear. When it attacks the Vanguard, Counterblast 1 and discard a card from your hand. Ooh, wow, Mr. It Needs a Cost. Really threw it in a cost there. Choose up to one of any fighter's lock cards. Unlock it. And this unit is on Rear Circle. At the end of that battle, lock this unit. If the card unlocked by this effect is grade 4 or greater, it gets power minus 20,000 on a turn. Come on, dude. <laughs> Oh, I skimmed over that crap. Oh, man. I forgot how hard you wanted to just, like, cocky wheelie bulk a goat. You did, man. <laughs> like, you know, like, but, like, it's only when you use it with Awakening. But, like, like, at least I'm not banning the damn thing. I mean, I get it. You're not saying, oh, choice restrict Awakening with uh, bulk a goat. Please smile. But, man, does this thing just have a hate boner for bulk? What the hell? <laughs> Yeah, but at least I'm not a complete hater. Like, I'm allowing it to live. <laughs> yeah, it lives, but now it's like, wow, uh, G. Williker is nice. I mean, I guess the one thing I will admit is kind of cool about this is its second effect where you give 5k to the front row because the timing is perfect. Everything, uh, all the rear guards are unlocked, should be unlocked by this point, so they get the 5k. And because one of your primary ways of unlocking this is your vanguard's abilities like that's how you do it that thing uh alter ego does it when it attacks so the 5k will apply to it as well so that very very play to you but oh my god this this is funny i this might even be like thumbnail material i might i might like just have to post a bulk ago with a minus 20k there and see what people interpret from it <laughs> <laughs> like oh man sad days bulk ago uh okay so a sleep oh, messiah what's even, you know what's even said what you know means no, no, sorry. Well, you know what's even said there? The, the Valkyrion means. Oh, Valk. Yeah, the Valk. <laughs> Just be mean to Valk. <laughs> oh. oh, man. But, okay, okay. Let, 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 let's move on. Um, So, a Slate Messiah has an effect. When it's placed on Van Circle, Peep Top 7. Choose one card Messiah from among them. Reveal it. Put in your hand. Shuffle your deck. When you put a card in your hand, choose a card. From your hand, put it on rear circle as a locked card. It cannot be unlocked during your next end phase. That is fascinating. Um, second effect. Act on rear circle. You 
Go blast one and lock it. To choose a card from your dropping point in your rear circle to lock card. Choose one of your units with Messiah's card name and gets 5k. Holy crap, dude. It's Sleep Messiah's the nuts. Like, wow. Look at that thing. Um, so, okay, okay. This thing right here uh, is a plus one, but it plus ones in a very interesting way. Now, my man, I'm going to be real with you. This uh, this cannot be unlocked during the next end phase. You may interpret it as a downside. I can admit, if you're blocking a Volca Goat, you can't just go like, hey, 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 I'm going to swing a Volca Goat on grade two. I get that. But if you're uh, riding this and you're anticipating that the opponent's going to like, are doing stuff like like they have like early retires or binds or whatever then this is actually like beneficial to you i like that nuance but holy crap this effect i really like this effect this, this, this effect is sort of an ex it's like you have a um just a mini alter ego uh right right there as a, as a great one on the rear it's a mini alter ego it's soul blasts itself and i mean locks itself which is perfectly serviceable and then you just call something for the drop just as, as a lock just just Lock it. Easy. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Mm hmm I like that. That's cool. You know, uh, this is a great way to also get Volk because, um, fun fact, Ultra Ego can't lock two cards that are the, basically the same thing from the drop zone. So this is how you can kind of mm -hmm. get around that. See, I'm supporting the Volk uh users. <laughs> there you go. Now, just uh, don't inform them that they're going to have to pay a hefty tax for doing it if they use a Waking Messiah. Um, so, overall impressions, Amnesty Messiah okay. is cool alternative to Messiah. Will it see play if it was ever to come out? I don't know. Um, I would imagine that it could be kind of a nifty thing if we're going into, as you would call it, like the control format, like an extreme control format. But if nothing else, a Sleep Messiah would be a staple grade one. It, 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 it would just kind of have to see play at this point. It's that good. Um, so, nice. Uh, pretty nice there. Uh, TBH, do like your uh, Liberator cards a little bit more. But hey, this, this is pretty good stuff. Wow. More Assault Rider. Oh, the joy. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, guys, want to guess what... He, oh, wow, look. It's not only is it Angel Feather, a clan we haven't discussed today or in previous video, but it's black. Angel Feather, which is totally not a sub clan that we haven't discussed today or in the other video. Um, <laughs> let's, I'm traveling. Let's let's. I, I mean, this isn't on you. I mean, he, you you just chalk this up to folk having same brain cell and Gabriel just being that popular of a unit that we want to revitalize it with like different support cards. If like there's any G boot deck that I think deserves to like be restructured, um, it it would be Gabriel. Like I would make that my number one pick. For the G boot decks. Um, okay. So Black Devote for Lake. Uh Grade 3. Act in the damage zone. You counter blast one. If this card is face up, call it to rear circle and it gets power plus 3k. Choose from your vanguards so you don't know that. See, now here here is how you do it, fellas. I I mean, I I think Assault Rider's kinda bad cop. I sometimes I think he gets a little bit too harsh with like, you know, well, actually, you should make it this kind of a cost and this kind of effect. But I will admit, when, when it comes, when it comes to like card, like card balance and whatnot, like he, he, this one is how you do it. This one is actually a CB that stays on the goddamn field and it's P specific to this thing. <laughs> like, that's how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> and it damages itself afterwards unlike antibody i'm sorry to rip on you edgy white guy i just have to really say that antibody pegasus shook me a little admittedly uh, it has another skill though auto on rear circle at the end of all this unit attack soul blast one and put it into your damage zone face up choose a card face up in your damage zone and put it to your hand you soul blast one and remove it to put a card in your hand see this is technically speaking a neg one until it does its effect again which is an act well not a neg one it's a it's a break it's a break even uh and that's totally fine because then you counter blast to bring it back out if you so desire but you are paying the real counter blast for it so yeah like black devo is it's pretty cool now this is great if you're going for mid i don't know why i keep on highlighting it. i think it's highlighted to just i don't know relief stress or something it's a spastic it. thing it. look at it uh, the thumbnail in the previous, like, card review had, like, freaking what's, what's her face? Shamsiel with, like, glorious, and this is pretty good, too. 
I, I do dig for Lake as just straight up a, a rear guard. This is a cool rear guard. Now, of course, it's not busted like Hamuel or anything like that. It's not a wink on like Hamuel, but it just indicates to you that you should be going for Paul from the damage zone for resources and multi-attack. This one doesn't multi-attack. It doesn't need to. That's totally fine. You'll probably run it in the new Gabriel, so that's great. Black Dream Zambania, or Zabania, or however, maybe... <laughs> Maybe I should say, like, Nordic words, super white, like, God or Damarung, or some bullcrap. But that's, why that's, why that's Bible, but that's biblical. But oh. God or Damarung, I, I took that from a Yu-Gi-Oh card that's based on Nordic support, so I'm pretty sure that's Nordic. No, that's, it's an angel card, it's biblical. What, Zabania? Oh, no, no, I'm not saying that Zabania is not biblical, it totally is. I'm just making a comparison to something that's like a different, like, cultural thing. I, the main thing I'm saying is I'm pronouncing it white. <laughs> that's what I'm getting at here. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway. Okay, understand, understand white people, white people shit. <laughs> yeah, ha 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 so, ha, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, no, but I... It's true. It's, it's, it's a curse. Okay, so auto rear circle once per turn. At the end of the battle, it attacked a great through a greater vanguard. If your vanguard has black in its name and all of your front row units are rest. So, okay, you've attacked with this last. You counterblast three. Reveal a unit card from your hand, put in your damage zone, face down. Heal a damage and stand this unit. <laughs> uh, okay, so at a... Uh... Uh, that's interesting so you essentially what what you've achieved here is mass cb and remove a card from hand to restand that's pretty hefty for a restand i gotta admit now if you rev up your your rescue checks and get a lot of stuff on this you might you might do this but without the guard restrict it's a lot more fair uh, what, what was your i'm curious what was your idea going into this one Restander, Restander, G. Oh well, look, it's a crit. I'm going to put my critical on my Restander. We can play three and make so Oh man, isn't this skillful Vanguard? I hit three crit from top of deck. I'm such a winner. <laughs> okay, well, like for real though, like the class like seems hefty. But like, I mean, I wanted to do a discard, but at the same time, uh, I think reveal a card from hand and put into damage zone face down is more, like, fitting. Because, like, you can set up your damage zone for next turn. You can. It, it, uh, it is know. a neg one, though, so I, 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 I see the hurt, you know? Yeah, but, like, it's, it's a restand, though. It's a restand. <laughs> like, you understand. I get it, yeah. I, I get what you're going for here, because we're really having to tiptoe from... The cursed card. I mean, seriously, like Hamuel to me is like on a similar level of infamy to totally awesome in Yu-Gi-Oh. Like that thing is both annoying and just stupid powerful for no reason. You see it all over the goddamn yeah. place. So yeah, to me it's like yeah, totally but awesome. it's you know it's, it's totally awesome. Yeah, see, <laughs> <laughs> it's totally awesome. Wow, <laughs> imagine us using that punt here in this video of all the punt. God damn, no pun, man. I can't English today. Uh, so. Man. Black you sure punish us? <laughs> Black Bomber. Malik. See, can't really screw that one up, huh? So, Otto, when wrote upon, look at three cards on the top of your deck. Choose up to one grade two or greater card with black in its name from among them. Put in your damage zone face up and shelf your deck. If you put a card, choose a card from your damage zone and put it into your hand. Mm, nailed it. Love that one. Uh, Auto on rear circle. At the end of the battle, this unit boosted. You counter blast one and put this into your soul. Choose a face up card in your damage zone. Put it in your hand. Choose from your vanguards and deal it one damage again it's a cb that sticks for a plus one and still does the rescue check this is how we do like the gabriel support guys i mean yeah don't get me wrong i'm not always in agreement with what assault rider produces as a matter of fact i was kind of bashing on his awakening messiah not gonna lie but no this gabriel oh, support up. is pretty is it, it's it's pretty righteous bro it, it, it's pretty solid like, I can tell. Uh, I'll just put a little bit of context here. This man, this uh, this uh, this man we call Assault Rider, he uh, he makes making custom cars one of his favorite pastimes, we'll say. And none have been the apple of his eye quite like the Gabriel stuff. Like, there's not many cards or just, like, subclans out there that he puts as much attention and renditions to 
as the Gabriel thing. So he's done a lot of work and a lot of tinkering and a lot of like soul searching, it seems like, to come to this conclusion. Like, like this is like at least months in the making, it feels like. So I, I guess there's no surprise there that this would just be pretty much like the pinnacle so far. I'll be honest with you, man. I did all this in one sitting. I mean, you did all this in one <laughs> sitting, but I'll be damned if you haven't shared these kind of effects with me. Like, I remember Malik and Zabania being, like, shared with me not too long ago. So you've done at least, you've attempted previous versions of these before. And you've attempted uh, their but like, the ones I showed you. But, like, these are a copy piece of the ones I've showed you. Right, right. So they've been produced for a while, is the thing. So it's like, yeah, if, they, if I just looked at them for, like, hey, these are already perfected. And then you just post them here, and they're still just the culminated work of all the time and effort. I, look, look, look! I'm trying to give you some, uh, some suck, some suck, suck. So just take it, bro, because I may or may not be harsh for the next one. <laughs> I mean, I might just change Zavania to a CB2, uh, because like Falik and Malik is already CB a lot. But then again, <laughs> but again, there's so many cards. In uh, already that like just says you get your counter blast back, you get your counter blast back, you get your counter blast back. Everybody gets your counter blast back. <laughs> so it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of a hard decision to make. Yeah, I mean things like uh, Zalafiel. Um, I mean yeah, like things Zalafiel does it, and how what's her name? Like Zophiel or Zophiel also do yep. like yeah, like like they are essentially counter chargers. Yeah, Gabriel also do it. Uh, Gav, yeah, that's true. That's, that's definitely true. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh... good stuff. Really, really good stuff. Prime Gabriel support here. Uh, you can't really make any ganders as to how to improve this. You did mention CB2, which I think is more of a fair cost, but even then, that's just up to you. So, okay, um, here's uh, Assault Riders fanfic to Dinophage, which is Toxification Dragon <laughs> Gasfanger. So, okay. He's got two bits of, uh, of uh, personal one-on-one -on -one session with Dinophage here. So session number one states, Auto, when rode upon by Thundering Sword Dragon Anger Blader, guess who? Draw a card, choose a card from your hand, and call it to rear circle, and equip gauge at the top of deck. Auto on rear circle once per turn. When your other unit stand by your card's ability, oh, gee, Willikers, I wonder how. If your opponent's Vanguard's great through your greater, you soul blast one, stand this unit. And it gets power plus 5k for each of its equipped agents on a turn. Wow, 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 wee. You, you, you gave Anger Bladers a restander on top of the restand it's going to get anyway, and it's even stronger than before because Anger Blader wants it to have three equipped, so it gets plus 15. Wow, wee. Stronger than before. Go see. <laughs> what the hell is that? Um, And you know what? Let me just go over Terry Scoper before we get into what Gastfinger is. Because, oh boy, man. I feel like you were being pretty... Uh, you might have hit the bottle a little bit. Um, So, Terry Scoper uh, <laughs> has a couple skills. <laughs> Auto and rear. Once per turn. When this unit attacks or boosts, put the top card of your deck face down as equip gauge to this card. Sure. If you do, it gets power plus 5k for each of equip gauge to your turn. Sure. Uh, auto, rear, once per turn. When you're in the rear guard, stands by your card's ability. Soul Blast one and discard a card and stand this unit. I, I mean, come on, dude. If you want a freaking OTK and these things are both getting pretty freaking big because you need three equip gauges for them. What the frick? <laughs> This is like the first time Josh has ever gotten this mad at me. <laughs> look, because I know what Anger Blader is. I know what it does. You're you're trying to reignite the fire nature. of war, bro. I know his true nature. He's a son of a bitch. This mother effer right here. This piece of crap. He gives Gabriel just the god effects. You know, the perfection. The uh, Trey Magnifique. And then he goes over here and doo-doos by making anger player support which is too good for its own good mother freaking effort dude i i i man i i'm cracking my knuckles bro i don't like this 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 makes me want to choose violence dude why does this piss me off i don't know why this actually pisses me off i like this because i think it's because i just really don't like anger blader but no like it's just also just blatant it's like yeah yeah you know what Anger Blader does? Restands for big attacks. You know what Anger Blader could use? More consistent access to equip gauges oh, along with like bigger power lines. What does these do? Smile. 
Smile. More, <laughs> smile. More recent smile. Yeah, like, well, freaking wonderful, right? And, and, and you want to know uh, what's what's uh, pretty fun, right? This is a this is a pretty fun thing you can do. There's combo stuff here because if you restand something, uh, for instance, you can throw these down in. Uh, other builds that restand your rears. Uh, as a matter of fact, in premium, these uh, I don't know if you would really want to do this per se, but you could do this. You could mm -hmm. use it with the new stride, which grants the, something the ability to restand for a soul blast, and then these things are also doing soul blast for it. Now, I I know yeah. already it could grant a bunch of units like soul blast to restands, but the difference is that you don't need to retire as many rear guards because now your rear guards inherently have skills like that, and they're getting power lines with it. So that's that that's like cool yeah. interaction. But with Angry Blader, in come on. Format, in any formats at all, <laughs> Angry Blader is still too angry to die. Dude, Anger Blader is like the incarnation of anger that went wrong. Now we have RFD. This is good angry man. This is good angry dragon. No, no it's not. No, no it's, it's not. No, it's good angry dragon. Like, don't get me wrong. It's 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 effects. Why am no? I refuse to defend Raging Form on Mike right now because he he doesn't need. Yeah, it. because 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 you cannot defend him. No, of course I can defend him. But you want to know how long this video is running? I don't know. I don't dare to look. I don't freaking dare. And and besides, I'm too this, this is the last one. Yeah, th this is the last one anyway, mother. Oh wait, actually. No, actually, there's more. There's actually more about well, like the claret stuff. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? We'll make we'll make room for claret. But uh, is there anything That's you want to fun. say for yourself, Buster? Any excuses you want to no, make for what you did here? This was a joke card. These are joke cards because I was bored. Good. <laughs> Good, I'm glad we both see it that way, because oh my god, dude, this isn't like Sigma Chad level, but this was pretty wild. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but like when you think about it, uh, like Anger Blader is such a high roll attack that these cards make the deck more like glass cannon-y. Bro, you're making jokes about being Asian and all that. You know how they roll in Japan? They like snort high roll, dude. They make high roll into like just Jesus Christ on legs. They will do it. We Agents live to get full, you know? Dude, high roll is like mid roll for those folk, bro. You, you, I don't, I don't want to hear it. <laughs> it's not even mid roll, just low roll. Yeah, seriously, like they don't play in terminants, they play in casinos. Let's let's I'm not so get it twisted. <laughs> like when they, the moment they got Highlander, they fucking snorted that shit. Oh my god, they made that thing into the most meta dog strategy you could think of, like, like, like that. It was over in a snap and it was done. Uh, like, dude, I think the, that I'm convinced that's the reason why Luar took so long to catch on is because it's not high roll, it's mid roll, so they don't care about it. They look at that, it, it's like it's good, but I'm bored with it. Let me go play my Gurgit now. This is fine, but like this, this is really, but like this more. <laughs> oh, man. I, I, I don't want to look at these things, goddamn text anymore. So Last cards of the night, or day, whatever your time zone is, they're really weird. Uh, so, okay, we got some Claret support, and I actually do remember you making Claret support like this, so this shouldn't be too much of, like, a surprise. I think I dug these. So, okay, first one is Grey Mew. Interesting pick, by the way. Uh, not surprised, because I've seen this before, but it's an interesting pick. So, it's a great two, by the way. You'll, we'll, we'll come to understand that as we read its effects. When this unit is placed on Van or Rear, from hand. You counter blast one, soul blast one. You peep top seven, reveal up to two grade ones from among them. Call one and discard the other. Shuffle afterwards. If you only call one, uh, then you if you, if only one shows you call to rear. That's good reminder text. I like that reminder text. Continuous in deck drop zone bind zone. If you have a vanguard with Claren's name, uh, this unit gets grade minus one. I appreciate very much before we move on to the other thing. I appreciate very much the fact that you kept in mind that the Claret promo is not going to trigger if this thing was a grade two in the bind zone. So bonus points for that. You did your homework. Now, Dark Horse Dragon. Uh, when this unit is placed on rear circle, if the total number of grade one cards in your drop and bind zone is seven or more, choose one of your vanguards to declare it in its card name, and that unit and this unit get power plus 3k until end of turn. Neat. Uh, act in rear circle once per turn. Counterblast one and discard three cards from the top of your deck. Oh boy, we got a blue spot incoming. Um, 
choose one of your vanguards with Claire and his card name. That unit gets triple drive done a turn. I'm going to say it. I really like these cards. I, I think these cards make a lot of sense. This one helps with the mill ability and also just make it, it's it's just consistent with the grade one theme so now you can run grade twos that are grade ones makes things all the more consistent so gray mew like mm, sorry, i i would love a gray mew uh you look at dark quartz which th this effect is neat um it's not that relevant to be fair but it is neat then you'll look at the act on rear which is pitch three and give triple drive that's oh my god dude i i, I understand that counterblast is hard in this deck just just find a way to run Sharon. Just do something about that, man. Because, oh my god, this triple drive is everything daddy need. I, I, daddy needs, daddy wants, daddy craves. I need triple drive. Oh, so good. Oh, man. Imagine you don't find seven for a crappy restand with minus drive. No, 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 no. Now it's a triple drive that becomes the normal twin drive, but it's big with a crit because of force two, and it can only get bigger from here. That daddy likes, dad wants more. Okay, so yeah, the, like after I'm, I'm glad we did these because this this is a war crime. Uh, this we're back to good stuff here. This we're back to things that like pleasures my heart, my soul. <laughs> I play both sides so I can stay on top. <laughs> I can be your angel or your devil. Or I can be your demon or your angel. <laughs> your demon or your angel. <laughs> so yeah, great clarity stuff. Um, highlights. Um, now I think in terms of the like pinnacle, uh, the Gabriel stuff feel like it feels like there's so much effort put into it. But my bias does tell me I really like these shadow cards because oh my, like I play claret not like super competitively and i don't play it super often but you know if i if i feel like leaving my victory up to the heart of the cards i'll play claret and i also love like you know imitating kenzaki so yeah i would really love to play these uh when we do have a custom card battle stream whatever the frick which it, it's actually going to come guys i'm not sure how long it'll take we still have to go through a lot more cards of course uh and even then afterwards we're gonna have to like set up like a bunch of stuff on untapped so it's gonna take a while but when we get there i'm gonna have to keep this in mind because your boy might want to play some clarity with these cards because these are pretty cool <laughs> yeah and um and i'm personally going to be testing uh the gabriel cards i made the gabriel cards yeah the gabriel cards i also want to test the uh, silverthorn stuff uh because that's that, that's pretty oh cool. god yeah oh and the armor break stuff because you know who doesn't want like pure no. armor break dragon deck stop it no i mean armor break is already designed like it was a custom card so now you actually now that's a real candid yeah. card and you give that thing custom cards for it we're gonna run okay, into okay, a pretty okay. fun game Okay, okay. Uh, let's do that, but on one condition. None of us are allowed to pick any Stargate decks. Oh. <laughs> so, no Messiah, essentially. No Messiah, no DP. And no Nova Grappler, because, mmm, those victors, bro. Mmm, you make a point. Stargate looking kind of stacked. <laughs> so I get looking kind of fake, though. Man, it's kind of ironic that between, like, Dimension Police, Victor, and Messiah, Messiah is the closest I would think to being not busted. Like, that's the one that's comparatively the most lacking. That's ironic. Yeah, it's, it's like, I like that's only because I beat such amazing custom cards. You know, yeah. Suck fast, suck, suck, yeah, depend, 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 depend. Well, no, I, I think it's just because you're not, like, buck wild and basically made a uh, worse armor break for DP. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> but all right, uh, that, that that's enough of a preview to come. Uh, if y'all are like salivating for more, just a uh, note. We're gonna get back to a lot of the uh, the other folk putting in some interesting stuff, and I, I like what's to come. So I I hope we appreciated uh, Assault Riders Gallery plus a couple extra folk who provided us some. some neat cards here and there and uh yeah if y'all do have custom card ideas it's not too late as of watching this video assuming it's you know not having a couple other videos past it you could probably still make it uh, i'd say of the time of recording you have a few days to just to get in and have no issues there so yeah if you got anything just lying around maybe you gotta like brush up dust off your like old grand blue support maybe you think night rose needs more go ahead and do it we'll we'll cover it just like anything else 
Uh, anything to yep, add? Yep, uh, What's up? Uh, no, it's just, uh, continue. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, I was actually just, like, gonna defer to you, asking, is there anything else you want to, like, uh, like, mention before we close it out for today? Well, I was just gonna say, with that being said, uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like it. If you don't, please just like it. Be honest with us. And <laughs> if you are interested in more... And if you are interested in future content, please consider subscribing to Godsman down below. That's it. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this video from the bottom of our hearts. God bless. See you next time. Uh, why, why did you take my thing again? Because <laughs> I'm a fucking thief. God damn it.